Hi, today we're going to take a look at this Twiol's Hookah Holes. So the brand is called Trio, T R E Y O. I don't know if you can see this too much in the practice, but right there, T R E Y O, Trio Hookah Holes. As you can tell, it's only like three ninety nine plus tax. Really cheap. I mean, hookah holes like this go between fifteen, twenty. Sometimes they start at ten. They go all the way up to like forty five bucks for one of these hoses. I mean, if I'm getting one for like three ninety nine, okay, I'll give it a try. It is plastic, so yeah. The other ones are usually uh, like let's. Like this one that came with my hookah that you see in the camera. It's got like a false leather wrap around it. Wooden handle. Metal mouth tip right there. So we'll tell you that's different. Let me unwind this big thing. Uh, it seems to be about the same size length in the cord. Mouthpiece is definitely a standard longer. Uh... Roughly around the, let me get the camera up there a bit. Roughly about the same right there. For the hose port to go inside. Like I said, I don't know if I can even get this on camera. Ah, there we go. If I put it down there where it first meets. Yeah, you can see how long this one is. On the mouth port. Definitely super long. It's like a brat little futz hose right here. Kind of reminds me of the hoses that are on the pools, if you have a home pool. Just really small scale down. Definitely you got a lawn thing here. I don't know why you hold it there, but here's where you're supposed to hold it. Now it's nice rounded mouthpiece. Uh, do note that there is no grommet on there. On this one there is a grommet, this one there is none. So we'll just put it in here. And it has a nice snug fit that it doesn't even really need a grommet. Let's give it a try. Oh yes! Yes, yes, yes! I love this one. Like here, if we lay my original one and let the mouthpiece open. Look how much bitter it is. I could literally take the mouthpiece of my original one and almost put it in there. Like I said, almost. But, uh, yeah. You get a smoother, bitter draw, and you saw a lot more of a bit puff come out of it. But, you know, just for comparison, we'll take that one off and we'll put back the original hose that it came with to see how much uh, puffs we get out of it. Not that much, and it took a long time to draw it out. Like, I don't know, five, seven seconds. We'll see how long was this one. And... Just one. Inhale, and then exhale. Gray mouth smoke. Definitely, I recommend pick up this... Trio hookah hose. It's a great investment to purchase, you know, as the hose, only about four, maybe five bucks with taps. Great handle, you're gonna get an excellent draw out of this one. Um, I don't know if you can see their website here. Let me see if I got something to kind of block it out with. So get to see the website. Uh, you could kind of make it out there. I don't know. It's like right there. We see what it says that time. I could kind of barely read it. I mean, if they put it in black lettering, you could read it probably better than this red lettering. But it says email dot b r i d i at h o t m 
Oh, okay, so it's, uh, email. Oh, wait, where is it? Like I said, the word we're doing is kind of hard to make out. So it's, uh, E M A D dot. No. But like I said, they should have put this in black letter instead of red. Let's start over again and see what it says. E M A D dash B R I D I at hotmail dot com. I'll leave it down below in the description. It's really hard to see on camera and it's kinda of hard to make out right here. Like I said, red lettering was not the best idea. They showed one with the black lettering like how it's down here. But I'll definitely leave that down below in the video description so you could go check them out for yourself. Um, I have a couple different hookah filter tips in here. This one, obviously not going to work. On that, on this small little nub one, it works. On this one, nope. So, yeah, that one's out. We had, that's up this little orange one. The AF tip. It's kind of got like this curved little blade type of vacuum shape, I'll call it. Uh, does it fit? Nope. Nope, doesn't fit on that one. Does it fit on this one? Uh, it slides on, but kind of loose, as you can tell. It kind of wiggles around. Last up, this little tip right here. Now, I can't remember which one it was because I bought two of them. This is either the male tip or the female. Uh, sanitary disposable mouth tip. Uh, it slides right on in there. That way, so, uh. You do get a more concentrated draw, and it's a little bit stiffer. Does it go on this way? No. On this one, uh, you got to flip it the other way. And I believe that's how it is supposed to go on. Just like that, and then, you know. We'll test the draw with this on this one. And then... Uh, probably a better draw on this one if you put it this way with the little flared end on the mouthpiece. Yeah, here's a better thing. So if you put it this way, it's going to be good on that hose. And then on this hose, so uh, do remember if you put this up, flared end, which is down there, goes on the metal holes and on this trio holes you want to take it and put the funnel end in there it's going to stick down a lot so it's about I can't actually feel it it's down there so the thing is this bit when you sit it in it comes up to about there so you got from there all the way down about somewhere of an inch or a half inch inside there uh, it does fit. I wouldn't recommend putting this on this hose. But um, yeah, there has been a little, little unbanging, I guess you'd call it, video review um, and demo of Trio Hookah Hose. 3 99 plus tats. Great hose, great draw. You saw it. Like one time was like, what was it, three, five sizes? <laughs> you got the smell in your mouth. Love it. So yeah, remember to wait, subscribe, and leave a comment. Alright, thanks. Bye.